crews made major progress today working to contain a wildfire in Pendleton County. The fire has been burning since Tuesday and the cause is still unknown. Good evening, I'm Kayla Brooks. As of this morning, the U.S. Forest Service reported that about 900 acres were still burning. That's as of this evening, rather, and the fire is around 10% contained. WHSV's Colby Johnson was in Pendleton County today. He has the latest details. The U.S. Forestry Service is optimistic that the worst of the Heavener Ridge fire is behind us. That fire, you can still see some of its smoke a little bit there in the distance behind me. It's on Heavener Mountain, about three miles east of Brandywine. And about 50 firefighters have been out battling the blaze. And with today's conditions, things have taken a turn for the better. Crews expect that they'll have it fully contained by the end of tonight. Overnight, the fire laid down pretty good for us. And conditions have been right today. The crews state that they've gotten an upper hand on it, and if conditions remain as they currently are, they may have this thing knocked down and tightly managed by the end of the day. Earlier this week, the conditions made fighting the fire tough, but the change in the weather and the hard work of firefighters got things under control. Winds at times uh, were a struggle. They uh, created difficulties, but it appears that we had the right number of personnel to handle this. Once the fire is completely contained, crews will continue to patrol the perimeter of the blaze and look to extinguish any hot spots before finishing their work. During the aftermath, the fire departments will start organizing and cleaning their equipment and getting ready for the, the next fire call, whatever that may be. We can always hope that uh, it's not going to be another wildfire, but the reality is we need a lot of moisture in the area. Working hard for you, Colby Johnson, WHSV. All right, Aubrey, it was definitely a windy day out there today. No help with the fires that we're keeping an eye on and that crews are battling, but I hear an end is coming soon. Yes, the winds are at least letting up, and that was some great news uh, with Colby's reporting and from Rick Gillespie that firefighters are getting the upper hand on that fire. We do have a little moisture and even some higher humidity, which will also help as the winds calm down. Even though we had multiple wind shifts throughout the day, now the winds are going to stay out of the north northwest. We do have a bit of a breeze still across the higher ridge lines as the front continues to pass, but the winds will be letting up for tonight. But that chilly northwest wind settling in and that's where temperatures will continue to drop. The other bad news side, even though it was a warm day today, we did get the update on the drought monitor. This will automatically come to your WHSV weather app every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. So if you don't have the WHSV weather app, that's your best source for local weather. And when you're monitoring a significant drought like this, this is something you want to stay on top of. So this is where we were last week in a moderate to severe drought. And of course, no improvements. In fact, it got much worse. Things are getting extremely serious now because now we're in an extreme drought for at least 50, maybe 60% of the Shenandoah Valley. We have not been in any sort of an extreme drought since about 2002, and we don't see a significant rain in sight. Things can change fast, but right now nothing is in sight. I'll have more on a small amount of rain coming our way for tomorrow. That's coming up.